Hey, so this is the next trick that I would like to share with you. Uh, it's basically a face. It uses uh, pupil controller uh, and mouth controller. Uh, so you can stay tuned uh, to see how I actually did this. Uh, this rig actually is a lot complex and again I would not recommend this kind of rig for mobile devices. I, I haven't tested this but again even if you are doing it on mobile devices consider how many of these characters are going to be shown on the screen at the same time. If there is only one face maybe it's it, it won't create any problems but if you have like dozens or hundreds of these characters definitely don't use any constraints because here I have a lot of them. So let's start from the pupil. I did another tutorial with uh, how you can control pupils and make them uh, limited in their circle and their eyeballs. Uh, you also can manipulate those eyelid uh, bones they are made for blinking, but they can be constrained to this spawn, so with some lower mix, so they can actually create natural effect. I also explained this in that tutorial. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so the next is eyebrows. They are basic eye key with softness on max value let's see what i mean okay this is the softness so you can see that this chain wants to follow it but it's it's uh, not actually following 100 percent because the value is softened so when we lower it down you can see that it's fully stretched to uh, get to this target it creates some snappy effect when you use without softness but anyway it's matter of choice so in this situation i went with this i could definitely go without smooth softness so this is about the eyebrow i did also forehead and overall head stretching and squashing just to give a character a little bit cartoonish feel uh, i haven't done face shearing here uh, to not over complicate the stuff uh, maybe um, well, I, th I think it, it, it wouldn't give uh, desired effect here because the face is underground that it's not supposed to move a lot. So better to concentrate on the talking part because this character is going to talk a lot. So better to give some nice controllers to animators, uh, future animators, so they just produce animation easily. Okay, that's it. We have some bones here that are uh, constrained to a pad. Let me actually show this pad. This is the pad. There is two. There are two pads actually for each lip, and each pad has these bones uh, located on them. They are just constrained over them, and with these bones, I actually control the pad. So you can see the pad has a bound, has a <clears throat> weights, and it's bound to this, the central bone, and this corner bone. Uh, and note that each bone uh, controls the point and its uh, co controller, and point and its two controllers. If I give this controller a little bit value for this bone, the pad becomes uh, broken and it's it's not suggested. I think better to do one bone and point the one bone control at the point and its <coughs> controller. Okay, the same way is for bottom lip. Uh, it has three bones that are controlling the pad, and pad itself controls the bones on the lip, while the lip. Uh, listens and it bounds to these smaller bones so it's a kind of uh, hierarchical system uh, lips listen to smaller bones smaller bones are located on the pad and constrained on the pad and pad uh, listens to these bones to these red bones and <clears throat> uh, that's actually it you can control them separately 
this bone and this bone you also can control them uh, the mouth itself and also this corner and this corner uh, that's it I think for this character let me know what you think in the comments and if you want me some to explain some more details some aspects also let me know in the comment thank you